Purpose is not an event or an experience. Right. Purpose is a journey. a journey. Yeah. If you fail to know your purpose mm -hmm. in life, yeah. you end up as a failure. Mm -hmm. Why? Living a purposeful life mm -hmm. or success, mm -hmm. attaining success, mm -hmm. is not copy pasting your friend's life. Mm -hmm. If we, we maintain the level of our purpose, yeah. we meet at the same dining table of success. Hello at the well, we are back again. Uh, this is Wema TV. I'm your host, Dwiga Prince. Every Saturday, we gather at 6 p.m. Uh, to address issues that are affecting our young people, to give them a direction, uh, to help them understand how they can be able to, you know, to deal with some of uh, the challenging issues of life. And uh, it has been noted that the people that can listen, they can transform. People that, uh, you know, pay attention to what is happening, to what is being uh, saying to them, and then they can be able to transform and change their life. But people that are not ready to uh, listen, you will find that uh, they are having a very hard time in as far as uh, handling issues of life are concerned. Because at one point in life, you realize that there is someone who is better than you. There's nobody in life that knows everything. Just like there's nobody in life that knows nothing. You realize that there's somebody that knows something. So every path that you are taking in life, there is somebody that has been to that path. And they are well informed, they are well fast with what happens when people are going through uh, that path. And that is why to our young people and to our young generation, we are out and we are ready. We are not, uh, you know, we have purpose that uh, our young people not get lost as we have people mm -hmm. that can address them, that can speak to, to our young people. And that's why today we have another gentleman here, we have another young person here that is loaded, that is packed to be able to give uh, the young people uh, the right dosage for life. And, uh, you know, he'll be introducing himself as he tells us what he does. And uh, I thank us all so much for honoring our invitation. Thank so you. Uh, welcome. Uh, you may introduce yourself. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, my name is Philip. Philip, uh, Philip Boremi mm -hmm. from Kirinyaga, uh, the slopes of Mount Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> where Governor Iguru comes from. <laughs> yes. Yeah, where we say Kazi <laughs> Ijionge. Yeah. Yep. And I'm a young person. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a teacher by profession. Wow. A teacher of English. Mm. I teach boys. Yep. You can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> At a school called Kiburo Boys. Uh -huh. yeah, and most of that I'm saved. Uh -huh. And I'm a preacher of the gospel. Wow. Yeah, thank you. All right. Um, at any one given time, when you hear about uh, a teacher speaking, you understand <laughs> that uh, these are people that have information mm. <laughs> because they are interacting with young people oh, yes. every day, yeah. either is uh, through their profession yes. or just experience. Yeah, you that, uh, it's always uh, it's something that you have uh, for young people. Mm. So, we are so humbled today for honoring our invitation. Thank uh, you, Wema TV. Yeah, and uh, may God bless you. Thank uh, you so much. He's also a man of a man of uh. Uh, God, yeah. he has, uh, you know, he loves, he loves, he loves God. Yeah. And he's born again, yeah. and it is good to have people that are sober yeah. in the things of God. Uh, you know, giving um, advices or giving directions of life, yeah. because it is a uh, through uh, interacting with God that you can be able to understand. That's uh, true. <laughs> why you are created and how you are able to to, to, to live in this life. Yes. Because uh, actually, there's there's nobody. There is nobody who will ever find their purpose in life mm. without God. That is true. So uh, it is it is important and it is good that we have a teacher in the house. We have a man uh, uh, that fears God in the house in our studios today, and is going to uh, speak to us about uh, <laughs> about purpose. Oh yes. Actually, actually, he was telling me about uh, living a purposeful life. Yes. Mm. <laughs> he, he tells me that uh, he realized that there are so many young people out there that are living a life without a purpose. And whenever uh, somebody has no purpose in life, mm. it tells me that uh, you live a meaningless life. Of and when you're living a meaningless life, yes. then uh, that tells you that uh, you'll never, you'll never uh, achieve so much in life. Mm. And if you're going to achieve anything, whatever you're going to achieve is not going to help you much. Mm. So uh, I'm just going to, to, to welcome you probably to do a preamble on what we are talking about today. Thank you. Uh, on uh, living a purposeful 
life, life. Yeah. in young people. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, even as we talk about purpose, mm -hmm. I must admit mm -hmm. that this is the topic that is in my bones. Uh -huh. I just love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because from, from maybe my younghood, I mm -hmm. always love mm -hmm. doing something that I've purposed with my heart. Yeah. And, you know, mm -hmm. following my dream mm -hmm. and my chasing my, my ambitions. Yeah, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And that is what entails purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that is what we have come to discuss today. Yes, yes, yes. And maybe to start with, mm -hmm. I would say purpose mm -hmm. is the primary reason mm -hmm. as to why mm -hmm. we were born yeah. and we are, we, we are on this earth. Yes, yes. The primary reason. Mm -hmm. You know, as you grow, you find other reasons, other as, reasons yeah, yeah. as to why. But those ones are secondary. Mm -hmm. Before God formed you, you know, Jeremiah... In, uh, Jeremiah in the book of Jeremiah, yeah. God is telling him, mm -hmm. I knew you even before you were born. Yes. That means before you were born and brought on this earth, uh -huh. even when you are in your mother's womb, mm -hmm. God knew you. Yes, yes. God had already ordained mm -hmm. the man yeah. or the girl mm -hmm. or the boy yes. you ought to become. Mm -hmm. That is the primary intention. Yeah. So this drives us to mm -hmm. why we need to purpose. Mm -hmm. Because purpose for you to have a good purpose mm -hmm. in life, yes. purpose begins when you have a configuration mm -hmm. in knowing God. Yeah. The time you know God, mm -hmm. that is the time you have purpose in your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is the time purpose... That is know. when your purpose starts roaring. Yes, that mm -hmm. is the time purpose starts roaring. Mm -hmm. You can see Paul, yeah. before, he became, uh, be, before he was Paul, he was yeah. Saul. Mm -hmm. And you know he was in the front, front line. Mm -hmm persecuting the church yeah. but that one is past we mm -hmm. don't know it mm -hmm. but the time he met with jesus yeah he has the, written many books the purpose the now, purpose now uh, germinated yeah. you see mm -hmm. so what i would like would love to uh, to derive most is uh -huh. that when a young person mm -hmm. receives jesus as his personal savior uh -huh. that is that is the time now mm -hmm. the purpose starts rolling down mm -hmm. that is you are getting it all from uh, Philip himself, a teacher and a man of God. He says that uh, you need to, to find yourself in God yes. that you may be able to walk <laughs> in your purpose. Of course. What are the benefits of this purpose? What is the benefit, the benefit of uh, now uh, living a purposeful life as an individual? Yes. What, how do I benefit or how, how does it benefit a young person? Thank you so much. Allow me to give you a, con uh, a, 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 a disclaimer. Yeah. And I will say this. Yes. Purpose is not an event. Mm -hmm. Purpose is a journey. <laughs> Purpose is a journey, right? Purpose is not an event or an experience. Right, right. Purpose is a journey. It's a journey. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we are talking about benefits. Yes. That that means there are there are there are multiple of benefits. This journey. Yes. As you grow up, uh -huh. you know, as you grow up, you realize maybe God. Mm -hmm. You know, you have now we are we are told to when we come to Jesus, yes. we become Christ-like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know. From, from looking at Jesus, we are yes. able to see ourselves and what we are ought, we ought to become. Yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. So number one is realizing. You are able to realize yeah. yourself. You, mm -hmm. you are able to realize yourself. I wrote something right. there yesterday. Mm -hmm. I think yesterday. Yeah. And I was saying, most young people are, mm -hmm. are losing it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you want to follow mm -hmm. the root of your friend. Yeah. And I say to become successful in life. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you see, when you are following purpose, yes. in one way or another, mm -hmm. you become successful. Mm -hmm. You know, living a purposeful life. Oh, you, you, you need to repeat that. You know, it's important <laughs> to get some of these uh, punchlines. Eh? Yes. That when you follow the, the purpose, eh, yes. you become successful. Yes. So most of the people that are not successful is because they are not able to look into, they are not identified with their purpose. Actually, that is the denominator. Yeah. The dividing line. Uh -huh. Because if you fail uh -huh. and if you miss a line, yeah. In having a purposeful life, mm -hmm. you, must, you, you end up becoming a failure. Uh -huh. Yeah? And I, that's, why, that's why I was writing and I said, mm -hmm. young people mm -hmm. are missing it out. Yeah. Because if you fail to know your purpose mm -hmm. in life, yeah. you end up as a failure. Mm -hmm. Why? Living a purposeful life mm -hmm. or success, attaining yes. success, mm -hmm. is not copy-pasting your friend's life. Yes. Others are born to be farmers. Mm -hmm. They, they plant maize mm -hmm. and they are known globally. Mm -hmm. Others are born to be professionals yeah. and they are known globally. Mm -hmm. Others have been destined mm -hmm. maybe to stay in town. Yeah. Others are destined to, you know... <laughs> <laughs> we stay in the village yeah. and become uh, 
uh, heroes. Yeah. Heroes there, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But you see, success is very relative yeah. according to the purposes you yeah. follow. Mm -hmm. But there is something very, very, very good, and that's one of the benefits. Mm -hmm. Whether you are a farmer, mm. whether you are a videographer, yeah. whether you are a photographer, whether mm. you are a lecturer, whether yeah. you are a doctor, yeah. all of us, mm -hmm. if we, we maintain the level of our purpose, yeah. we meet at the same dining table of success. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. You see? This, this young person that is, uh, is struggling now, you know, to identify with their purpose, to yes. a purpose life. Yes. Now, how... How do we tell them that uh, how do they find their purpose? Thank you so much. Yeah. And this is the, this is I think this is the backbone of our dis discussion. Yeah. And I will say three things. Mm -hmm. Number one, mm -hmm. purpose. Yeah. Never you can never find purpose anywhere. Mm -hmm. I want to shock you. Yeah. Purpose is inside you. The purpose is inside the person. Yes. Right. You will never go and collect purpose in Roisambu mm -hmm. or yeah. you know. You know, anywhere. Yeah. Purpose is inside somebody. Mm -hmm. And you know, that drives me to the second point. Papa, where do we find purpose? Mm -hmm. It is inside us. But how d does it come to actualization? Yeah. We find the purpose now in our lives starts to be actualized uh -huh. when we are in, a, in our place of assignment. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Purpose will not be kinetic, mm -hmm. will not be in kinetic energy. Yeah. You know, there is that kinetic and potential. Yeah. The kinetic is the one running. Mm -hmm. You know, the potential is the tapped energy that is yeah. not utilized. Mm -hmm. Our purpose in our lives will remain in the in potential state mm -hmm. if we not we, are, we don't identify mm -hmm. our place of assignment. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to become a doctor, you must. It starts now from desire. Yeah. You go and get yourself to the place where doctorate and uh, medicine are being practiced. Yeah. You see? The place of assignment. The place of assignment. Even yeah. gifts. Yeah. You, you, don't want, you, do, you don't want to stay there saying you want to become, you know, like Cristiano Ronaldo. And mm. you, don't, you have never got even an interest with, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a ball. <laughs> it can only knock your food while you, <laughs> you're eating. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so generally, uh. purpose is, you know, is actualized the place of assignment. Yeah. Look at us who are in ministry. Mm -hmm. you, want, you want to discover your gift mm -hmm. and your purpose in the kingdom of God? Yeah. You must be in the vineyard. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, as we've been doing weekend challenges, crusades, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, all Do that, you actualize your purpose. Right? Yes, yes, right. yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. And it is costly. So most of, most of the people are not ready to identify with the assignment. Yes. And the moment you're not ready to identify with your assignment, then you will not discover your purpose. And you, s you see why? Yeah. Why are they not ready? They want to copy paste the, 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 the advancement of their friends. Uh -huh. You see? Yeah. For example, I'm a teacher of English. Mm -hmm. I've advanced in English, mm -hmm. uh, doing a higher level of English right yeah. now, mm -hmm. in the master's level. Yeah. Th that does not mean mm -hmm. somebody else is not successful. Uh -huh. You know? Your success does not stop <laughs> your success. <laughs> yeah, you see, the f your friend's success uh -huh. does not, you know, put off mm -hmm. you growing in another area. Yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. Because however much you are learned, you require, when you go to the Matatu sector, mm -hmm. there are guys there. <laughs> Who are very successful in that area now. Yes. Mm -hmm. you see. And they are doing very well. They are doing very well. Mm -hmm. So the time we, 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 we stop, mm -hmm. you know, copy-pasting friends' lives, mm -hmm. their lifestyle in us, mm -hmm. that is the time we discover ourselves. Yeah. And you know it takes a courageous heart uh -huh. to know and to follow yeah. what your heart, you know, following what your heart desire mm -hmm. wants. Yeah. We would not have known Abraham as mm -hmm. a man of faith yeah. if he did not take a step of moving from his place where God instructed him yeah. to live and go. Mm -hmm. But he took a, a, a courageous step. He moved. Yes, he mm -hmm. moves. Mm -hmm. And you see, <laughs> yeah. it takes courage, a courageous heart to say mm -hmm. no. You know, there are guys who come in this Nairobi and say, I want to start life here. Mm -hmm. And you see, after five, <laughs> ten years, these guys are somewhere. Mm -hmm. You see, it, it, you are moving. Mm -hmm. But why? That person took a step. Mm -hmm. 
a courageous step of following his destiny. Yeah. You say if if you are a professional, mm -hmm. you cannot be you you cannot be excellent mm -hmm. if you don't work work in the, in the books yeah. to derive knowledge. From Philip. Yes. What is the important of the importance of living a purposeful life? Thank you so much. Number one, you have an easiness of life. Life is easy. Life is easy. Aki. <laughs> <laughs> <Aki. laughs> so one of the things that makes life easy yes. is having a purpose. Yes. Unaishi maisha tu raisi tu. Yeah. Because uh, let me yeah. tell you, because you had me talk of the area of uh, the area of specialization. Yeah. As you know, you identify this will be my purpose. Mm -hmm. You see? That does not mean the journey is easy. Yeah. But in the state of, you know, in the state of doing your job, mm -hmm. because you followed your heart desire, yes. you find peace mm -hmm. and you, f you must find a way yes. to handle the crisis that mm -hmm. comes along. Mm -hmm. Yes. What does purpose in life to do with the positive youth development? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I will, <laughs> I will say... Uh, the life of a, uh, a young man, okay, in our lives, all of us, uh, either old, young, mm. it's growth. It's growth. Yeah, and we must appreciate. Actually, you see, purpose is, a, is, is an event. That it's not an event. <laughs> yes. It's a, it's a journey. Uh, yeah, purpose is not an event or an experience. Yeah, it's a journey. It's a journey. Of, of identifying yourself, uh -huh. you see. And you see, we, oh, the, the, the youth development, mm -hmm. the, the youth development process, yeah. it takes time. Uh -huh. It takes time to, to even a point uh -huh. when you are raising a young person, uh -huh. and that this one I would love to speak to maybe young people uh -huh. and even parents because yeah. you are the one who are raising these people. Uh -huh. Sometimes you might even not understand them, mm -hmm. yeah, because what they what is in their heart mm -hmm. is not what is in your heart. Yeah, you see, so it's growth. Uh -huh. It it takes you know, it takes some steps to attain where you should be. Uh -huh. Yeah. So what I would love to say is. That when any time we are talking about youth, you you you, you called it positive youth development. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Any time we are talking about positive youth development, uh -huh. we must incorporate you know living a purposeful life. Mm -hmm. Because if we fail to to live a purposeful life, pale mm muisho, -hmm. we will not also mm -hmm. end up having a positive development of that young person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it is it is purpose that brings about uh, the positivity in the life that a person is living. Yes. Uh, actually, the value of any person's life yeah. is uh, is quantified by the purpose. Yes. And uh, so our young people, the key thing is is basically as you saying that there is easiness of life. Yes. Do you have any regret about your marriage? Yes. Giving some some it's some benefits. benefits. Yeah. yeah. There are several. Niyonge <laughs> zambi. <laughs> <laughs> it makes life easy. It makes life easy mm -hmm. as you operate. Yeah. yeah, you know. And also now I uh, uh, I think to add on that, to add on the easiness of, of you know of mm -hmm. time, you are able to handle your time properly. Mm -hmm. I know I know of people. Yeah. Some of some of them are my friends. Mm -hmm. I was handling a case the other day. Mm -hmm. Somebody has worked for ten years as a teacher. Yeah. And he was looking for a, for a resignation. Mm -hmm. Why? She told me that, that was not her purpose in life. Wow. She never wanted to become a... Time wasted. That is time, time wasted. wasted. And wow. to recover it, mm -hmm. hey, it's work. Yeah. It's work. It will take time. Yeah, so that is what I was saying. One, that one benefit. Number two is self-realization. 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 Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, the worst thing that can ever happen in your life mm -hmm. is when you have not realized yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You end up in people's plans. Mm -hmm. Some you fulfill people's dreams. Yes. And supporting <laughs> their vision. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. You see, if you don't know your plan in this earth, mm -hmm. you end up, even they know, when, you, when they are in high schools and, mm -hmm. and primary schools, mm -hmm. you know, I did a mess sometimes back. Yeah. I, I think it's good to say this. A friend of mine approached me mm -hmm. and told me, uh, Philip, I would love us to do, you know, a business somewhere. Mm -hmm. Because I had money that time, mm -hmm. I didn't disagree. Yeah. But you know that 
I was not a purpose. Uh, that was not my purpose yeah, in life, you know. Yeah. You, there are people who excel so much in business. Mm -hmm. But if you are not in business, then, you know, you need to <laughs> <laughs> look for, uh, for your channel, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. And self-realization is very good mm -hmm. because I messed, I tell you. I mm -hmm. crumbled down. Yeah. To, to come up again, it took time because that was not my, my what, assignment. You just missed on purpose. Yeah, I missed on purpose. And uh, I, I think I would, if I would have done something else, where mm -hmm. my, my heart is, mm -hmm. it would have succeeded very much. Yeah. So self-realization. And number three, uh, what I would love to say is that it makes us have self-control. Yeah. Self-control. Self-control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Living a purposeful life makes us, it accelerates self-control in ourselves. Uh -huh. Because when people are doing this, you are not doing this. Uh -huh. When people are going for raves. So it will even give you some limits. Eh? And yeah, and boundaries. And boundaries, yeah. Yeah, you know, you don't just associate with anyone and mm -hmm. everyone. And you don't do everything. And you don't do everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't do everything. Mm -hmm. And you don't spend, you know, you, you, you see, we must talk. Yeah. And we say, even the way we utilize time. Mm. It will require self control. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah some you don't talk without you know, without boundaries, you know, you are just talking and talking. And talking and mm. talking. And you see, I must say, what is disturbing this generation mm -hmm. is something called sin. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, if we overcome sin in our lives, yeah. we'll be very far. Mm -hmm. And when I'm talking about sin, it, when I, let me narrow down. Mm -hmm. Especially this generation, yeah. immorality mm -hmm. is very high. The level of immorality. Yes, uh, drug and abuse, mm -hmm. drug abuse and substance. Mm -hmm. That is what is... The people that are getting into this, Yes. Um, do, do we agree that they have lacked their purpose? <laughs> <laughs> they have missed out on their purpose. Yes, you see, personally I teach boys, and I tell you there are a lot of dramas. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of dramas, and I personally I talk to students. Yeah. Uh, not that I was so good also, mm -hmm. before, you know, I became mm -hmm. the man I am today. Yeah. And I, uh, maybe probably before the end of the show, you talk about mm -hmm. that. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you, I've got, by the God's grace, I've talked to several students, not mm -hmm. even where I teach, even other schools. Yeah. But you find that even after you talk about all the messes they have done, mm -hmm. maybe Mimi, Muzazi Hajui, mm -hmm. Naindanga Rev, mm -hmm. Nakula Mira. Na, 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 naenda na wanaume wa watu. Mm. You know, that person has not really discovered herself or himself. Yeah. You see? And by that, you find that now that person does not have self-control. Mm -hmm. You get? And lack of self-control can reduce you to a loaf of bread. Oh, oh, oh. Can reduce you to a loaf of bread. Mm -hmm. You wanted to become a king, you end up in a squatter's house. Mm -hmm. Because of self-control. Yeah, self Others have got into Illuminati and other things, mm -hmm. not because they wanted. Yeah. They never had boundaries. Mm -hmm. The knowledge of knowing now, I need to set this boundary. Mm -hmm. I need to work with this friend. Yeah. I, <laughs> I need to stop this engagement. I have to appoint this one completely. Yes, so. because it's not godly. Mm -hmm. You know, I sat another one down. Yeah. She told me she wants to get into, into a relationship. And I mm -hmm. asked her, when do you want to, g to get married? Uh -huh. she, she, she told me 25, yeah, 25, 26 years. Uh -huh. And I asked her, how, how, how many years do you have? 20. Mm. Then I asked her, what, what about these five years? Mm. What do, what, okay, she is in the university mm. and she is coming out very soon. Mm. But now, you know, the, the, lab, the, age, the, the, the gap, those years. Yeah. I asked her, what will you be doing? And she was quiet mm -hmm. because now I started unlocking mm -hmm. her self-awareness. Yeah. And you know, now you, you start now having self-control. Mm -hmm. The life of that girl yeah. was secured by that one question, one-on-one -on -one talk. Mm -hmm. And she got, she got well. Mm -hmm. She stopped those things and now she's, you know, following the purpose and the destiny. Okay, I just received a signal from my <laughs> director of time. Eh? Yes. Uh, I'll ask one more thing yes. as we wind up. Eh? Yes. Uh, personally, Philip, is Philip <laughs> living her purpose for life? Unajua, Muswahili alisema, 
eh, uwezi jiona wapi <laughs> but anyway <laughs> yeah but but generally I've, I've, i'm still soldiering on mm. because number one i was not a good man mm. when i was in high school yeah it's good i point out that yeah i i got a f- my first suspension when i was in form 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 two mm. uh, i got in a wrong gang and i didn't go long i was given the second one mm. and then i was expelled I was in the famous Nyango Boys mm-hmm. in Embu County. Then later went to Mutige Boys. That's where I completed school. And by God's mercy, I was able to complete and go to Kenyatta University. Yeah. But you know, al- around there, there was a lot of, you know, there was a lot of, what do we call them? You know, undecisiveness. Mm-hmm. You have not decided to do this. Yeah. Some people are telling you do this. But me, I knew I am going to do English. That is my area of specialization. Mm-hmm. And I had an easy time in KU, yeah. graduated, and not long after, you know, I've been teaching, not long after, I went back for my master's in literature, mm-hmm. yeah, now I'm working, uh, I'm working on my thesis, and maybe when you look at the progress, mm-hmm. because before I got to high school, I forgot to tell you, I had 251 marks, mm-hmm. then repeated class 8, got 200 and I got 315, mm-hmm. you know, from from 251 marks. You know, I worked hard because I realized myself. Yeah. You know, now I got a grade to get to the university. And now from 251 marks, now we are talking of master's level, mm-hmm. of which that is not my end. Yeah. And maybe the things, maybe achievements that are coming along, it's not really good to give a leeway. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I believe... Some things, some very good things are, are unveiling. Wow. Yes. That is, that is, I think, um, uh, quite encouraging to our young people. Yes. That are out there. Some without, uh, without a purpose. Yes. Others are out there and uh, they don't know which uh, way to take. Others, because of lack of purpose, they have no self-control. Now mm. our time is up. Uh, we'll oh, my goodness. Do your parting shot. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so that we can uh, conclude. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, I would love to to talk to a young man or a young woman who is listening to me. And I would love to tell you, I will repeat what I said. Number one, purpose will always, you will always find your purpose in God. You can never go far. When you remove a fish out of water, Mm. it will not live. It will die. That is how our lives are. When we are out of God and in the life of God, when you are outside now, you will not live. And you just live a, a, a reckless life. Number two is just uh, know yourself. Know yourself. Know your, 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 your priorities. Mm-hmm. Put your priorities right. Know your extremes. Know your weaknesses. Know your strengths. Because that is where also the genesis of purpose begins. Yeah. Yeah, know, your, know, know where you perform best. Know your weaknesses. Know how to, to, to become open to have mentors in your life. Yeah who guide you to have a purposeful life. And I think that is all. And then be courageous, mm. because those who are courageous are the ones who gain mountains. Not, you know, even the Bible says that the, the fearful mm. will be put outside when we will be rejoicing yeah. in paradise. Mm. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that is all from uh, Philip. You heard from him. He says that it is crucial, it's important to live a purposeful life. And uh, he's saying, he's also working on it because he's saying that um, um, living your purpose is a journey, not an event. It's not a one-day thing. So uh, he says that it's important that as young people, we need to uh, walk this journey together. We need to find our purpose in God. And it will be awesome. The only place you can find this is uh, you know, in, in your number one show, that is Dialogue at the World that usually comes to you every Saturday at 6 p.m. Uh, be there, uh, tune in on Saturday, we'll be back again, same place, same business, causing mm-hmm. the same thing, same because that is all we have been called at the and we love you, have a nice day.